Greenswood Academy uh, comes from Greenswood College. We opened in September 2008 uh, after the history of Greenswood College, which had been a very successful school. One of the strengths of the new secondary curriculum is the fact that it's slimming down the content. It's not as prescriptive as it's been in the past. I think that new secondary curriculum is giving every school the opportunity to look at innovation, look at the way that we move forward, look at the way we do wrap the curriculum around the young person and ensuring that what we deliver at the end of this is a young person that parents, the school, but primarily the young person can be proud of. We cover a variety of things in the PSHE education programme that they're going to need for their, the skills to take with them in further life. The purpose of the lesson today was really to get the students to understand what we mean by employability skills and what skills employers might want from them in the near future when they go out on work experience. My starter activity was based around, around the concept of risk and getting the students to actually just make a quick decision um, on how many points they could get from just throwing a ball into a bucket, whether they were going to risk the furthest point away, which would be 10 points, or whether they were going to go near the bucket and just get one point. So they very quickly had to make that decision um, as a team activity. I'm going to go for three metres purely based on the fact that I'm not very good at throwing but I'll take a bit of a challenge. <laughs> um, last time I went for two metres but I'm going to go for four now because I missed last time. <laughs> Now let's just link that back to what the, the purpose of this lesson today is. Remember we were talking about preparation for work experience. Okay, So we've done some little activities based around risk, haven't we? You've had to go with the ball, some risking where you're going to stand to get maximum points for your team. What risk have you just gone through with your work experience? What risk have you just done? Um, I went to the place I really wanted to work and I got them to sign my form so I could secure a place for next year. Right, so you, you, from your point of view then, actually selecting where you wanted to go for your work experience is a risky thing. Mm -hmm. So you thought, right, OK, to lessen that risk, I will go and do a direct contact. OK, Sammy, what did you do? I asked my dad if I can work with him and that um, definitely <coughs> secured a place for me. So there's no right, risk there. Right, so you use family ties. I was going to say, you can take a risk by um, wanting to take an easy option out and just go in anywhere that's easy, easy to get to, rather than, like, uh, I'm going up London to work. There'll right. be quite a way to get there and that. OK, so what... If someone takes that less... the lower risk of just thinking, oh, I'll just put that down because it's... I can just get out of bed and just go walk <coughs> to work or whatever, OK? What's the risk there then? If that's if that's the easy people who take the easy option that they think is low risk, what could be the consequence in the end for them? You might not get the experience you need for what you actually want exactly. to do later in life. The PSHE education program helps the students to identify employability skills through the the fact that we, we look at communication, we identify communication skills in them, their strengths, their weaknesses. We look at working with others and examples of, that they've actually can show, positive examples they can show where they've worked with others. We look at how they can actually improve their own learning and their own performance. We look at problem solving, reflect, becoming a reflective thinker, that, that sort of thing. And, and most of the programme at some stage is actually going to come back to those things. The stuff you do learn in PSHE, you won't learn anywhere else, apart from like parents, but... It teaches us about the outside world and what things are like when we're going to leave school, not just academic. Yeah, and we need to learn it now, school. really. It's also important because it teaches you about political standings and yeah. stuff like that, so when you have to vote, you actually know what you're on about instead of just picking one. Yeah, and we mm. don't learn that in a lot of other subjects. Um. Both handling money is quite an important one in certain businesses. Yeah, we've been taught how to handle money stuff, haven't we? I suppose different skills are better in different jobs. Yeah. 
At the moment, the PSHE education programme is delivered mainly by tutors. In Key Stage 4, we do have some discrete timetable time. Um, but my future hopes are that it will be wholly delivered by a team of experts who are fully trained and we can then integrate more of the key concepts into the programmes of study. Greensward Academy fundamentally strives for the opportunity to create a high-performing organisation. Now, there are three core strands as a high-performing organisation. The first is we want to be the education provider of choice for the students. We want to be the employer of choice for the staff, and we want to be the uh, investment of choice for the parents. Greensward Academy sees PSHE, citizenship, and the development of world-class citizens as our fundamental driver. If we achieve that, we will make a significant contribution to society, and PSHE is the heart of those citizenship programmes that we're developing and working towards stronger and stronger for the future.